Howdy my YouTube friends, it's me, your old buddy Magnum, and we are outside again today with the Phantom 4. This is the DJI Phantom Flight School lesson number two. So this is going to build on what we learned in the previous lesson, and it's a technique that you really need to know. So stick around, and I'll meet you on the airfield right after the intro. Alrighty, today we are going to expand a bit on lesson one and the controls that we learned. As you can see, we have uh, two milk jugs set out in the airfield today. So we're going to start the aircraft just like we did yesterday by pulling the two sticks down into the outside. Okay, we have a good start and we're going to use the left altitude switch to take off. get you in a, a good altitude here so you can see it the whole way. Now what we're going to do is uh, fly a circle around the two milk jugs. We're just going to go around the jugs to the right. And that will involve using the right stick to go forward and the left stick to apply some right rudder to move the aircraft on its vertical axis. So, let's begin and see if we can make a circle around these two milk jugs. Okay, not too uh, spiffy, but not too bad. Now we're going to go the opposite direction, which means we'll still be using the forward stick, but instead of right rudder, we're going to be using a little bit of left rudder, which means moving the left stick to the left. So let's get lined up here and uh, we'll take off, start our course. Try it again. Okay. Now, we are going to attempt a figure eight, which is going to involve the forward stick and switching between uh, the left rudder and the right rudder as we make the figure eight. It's a little tricky, but let's give it a shot and see what happens.
Keep your eye on that altitude. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that. I wanted to mention a couple of things in closing here. First of all, uh, it was about 96 degrees out there and my Canon 70D overheated and stopped recording. So I had to, uh, I had to end it there. Anyway, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is, uh, in case you hadn't guessed, Today was the first time I had ever attempted either of those maneuvers. So I did a relatively crappy job, I know that, but uh, as with anything, practice makes perfect. So if you do a crappy job the first time you try it, don't worry about it. Just keep doing it and uh, it will come in time as you become more familiar with how to finesse those controls to get exactly the result from the aircraft that you're looking for. So I think that's it for now. Uh, I do have uh, some plans for uh, lesson three, uh, but I'm not going to tell you what they are yet. So I hope you'll come back and watch that. Leave a comment, uh, leave a question, and if you noticed, there was a pre flight list, uh, a pre flight checklist item that I failed to perform before I took the Phantom up into the sky. So, uh, I'm sure that some of you may have noticed that. So if you did, just leave a comment and let me know that you saw it and that you know not to do that. So, I think that's it for now. Uh, yeah, I may fly a little later this evening if the wind dies down a bit more uh, and if we have a sunset that looks interesting. So until I speak with you again and even after that, you stay focused.